Shall we make a movie today? So as you're well aware, there is a brand new iPhone, actually a few of them. They're gonna be hitting the streets real soon and you've got a bunch of questions about them. I did too, so I did a bit of research in order to figure out some things that you should probably know before you get yourself either an iPhone 8, an 8 Plus, or of course, the iPhone 10, the fanciest of the bunch. Now one of the things that I discovered about those three devices is the fact that they will support quick Charging. Hooray! This, of course, is a feature that many of you are familiar with that are on other devices. And what it means is you can plug in for a very short period of time and get a large charge. Large and in charge. Now, Apple went ahead and quoted a 30 minute charge time on the iPhone 10 would yield 50% of overall battery life. Yes, that is the magic of quick charge. Plug in and then go. But here's the thing. It's not so simple. Now, if you've had various Android devices, you may have gotten used to the idea of receiving the quick charger in the box along with the phone. So you could take advantage of that feature straight away. That's not gonna be the case with the iPhone 10, 8, and 8 Plus. They will ship with the traditional tiny little five watt Apple power brick, this guy here. So you'll still be charging at ultra slow speeds if you just use what's in the box. There is an advantage to this and that happens to be the scale of it. It's absolutely tiny. Now you'll notice that on the table, I have a few different products in front of me. This here is a MacBook Pro power brick, USB type C connector on it. If you connect the new iPhones 8, 8 plus or 10 to this power brick, you're gonna quick charge. You have plenty of juice here to to enable quick charging. But the brick itself is not enough because you probably know that the iPhone features a lightning port, not a USB type C port like this power brick has. All Apple high powered power bricks are now type C. So you're also gonna need this cable right here, the USB-C to lightning cable. This will take this port, this output here and turn it into something that your smartphone, that your iPhone can handle in the form of a lightning connector. Now these two boxes, they look relatively simple. You might be thinking, hey, that's not gonna cost me too much. Well, it will, of course. It's gonna cost you a minimum of $70 to get the correct cable and the correct power brick from Apple just to take advantage of quick charging. Now you don't need to get the MacBook Pro power brick. If you don't already have a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, you could get the 29 watt power brick from Apple, but that's still 49 bucks. Thankfully, there are some other options on the market like this one right here. This just arrived. This is a brand new product from a company called Energy, and this is a USB-C laptop adapter with 60 watts of power. Plenty of power to take advantage of quick charge on the next iPhone. Now, what I like about this one is it's crazy compact. So if you look on the back here, that's the entire power brick. Compare that the 87 watt MacBook Pro power brick. I don't have the 12 inch MacBook power brick here. It's a little smaller than this, but it's nowhere near as tiny as this. And that one supplies 60 watts as well. This would be perfect for quick charge as well for the iPhone because of how compact it is. The knife, where's the knife? Where's the knife? This is not the only high powered type C power brick on the market. I would likely recommend getting the Apple version though of the cable for compatibility reasons. I think when it comes to the brick, that's where you can go with a third party to try to save a few bucks. Look at that, that's pretty small. For 60 watts, they say it can charge up a MacBook in 1.8 hours. But of course, it'll work with other products. Five volt iPhone, nine volt Android phone, 12 volt USB-C power bank, a game system. This looks like the Nintendo Switch, a USB Type-C laptop or iPad Pro. Another thing I like about this, the prongs, they fold in. What do you think, Jack? Is that genius or what? And then they go, and then they go down. They go out. They go in. Now I'm guessing they probably include a type C cable. It actually looks like two. What is this? Ah, adapt for various types of laptops. All right, so here's the thing. Obviously you're stepping up to a bigger charger, even in this case, than what's gonna be included in your box, the five volt charger. If you compare the two, it's about twice as big. But here's the thing. I think you're really gonna enjoy having quick charge. You know I'm a huge fan of wireless charging, but we all know wireless charging is not the fastest. So having a quick charge option is the perfect companion 
for wireless charging. I personally think it's worth it to upgrade to a quick charge power brick. Remember, out of the box, you are not going to be taking advantage of that feature. So chuck this thing to the side, get yourself one of these, or use one of these if you already have a MacBook, so you're charging your iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or 10 at the maximum capacity. There's one more thing. Apple, if you're listening to me, let's make this whole situation that much easier. It's time to give up the lightning port, all right? Let's just go to USB type C. It's one power brick to rule them all. Tim Cook, I'm talking to you, all right? I know we've had our differences, but now's the time to listen to one another in peace and tranquility.